Wow, got thrown into the bus, first guy, okay. Let me find my speech here. I want to thank everyone, especially Tracy Nettis and the Water Ski Hall of Fame for an amazing event. The fact is that um, anything I have done in this sport is at best a trivial pursuit question. I remember many years ago thinking about different things that I'd want to be remembered for, but as I grew older and wiser, I realized that I'd be happy just not to be remembered as the answer to the question, who was the last guy to pull Banana George? <laughs> and I'm using the American definition of pull here, not the awesome. <laughs> if there were anything worth mentioning about me, it would be a lie if not under the light of the words that most accurately define my life. I am crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who lives, but Christ who lives in me. In the life I now live in this body, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loves me and gave himself for me. I used to have great pride in certain accomplishments, but now I realize that even the heartbeat and the breath that I drew from was given, given to me by God. My life has been one of miracles. Our company slogan is expect a miracle. And while I originally meant that as a way to raise the expectations of my clients, I had no idea that it would define my life. It was an absolute miracle that I was born to the world's best parents, Phil and Alita Bowers. A lot of you know my mom, Alita, is my office manager for 15 years, who loved to motivate and encourage anyone who she could meet or speak to. It was an absolute miracle that God led me to train with Mike Seip, who was someone I looked up to and later became great friends with. It was an absolute miracle that I only hung up on him about a hundred times when he wouldn't stop talking. <laughs> it was a miracle that I came to Winter Haven, Florida to train uh, with Ron Scarpa, who taught me that a world championship in 50 cents will get you a bus ticket. <clears throat> it's a miracle in my life that I met the most beautiful woman in the world who somehow agreed to spend the rest of her life with me, Cindy. It was an absolute miracle of God's grace that a superhero was born on the opposite side of the world in Korea. This superhero came to Cindy and I almost 14 years ago around 11 p.m. in the Orlando airport at four months old. Zane's superpower is his smile and he affects the lives of everyone he meets with his amazing talents and passion for whatever he does. It was an absolute miracle when five years later Zane, Cindy, and I went over to China to bring home our super Peyton, who will forever change the world with his intense dedication, likability, and passion for the Word of God. He is greatly blessed, highly favored, and deeply loved. Thank you, Richard Gray, for being an amazing friend and a coach who taught me many life lessons. Thank you, Keith Ledger, who worked with me for a decade uh, and helped me tremendously when I started the Footer's Edge. Thank you, Dave Grunzi, who became one of my best friends, training partners, and who trained me in the gym and on the water. He later introduced me to CrossFit, which has changed my life dramatically. It was an absolute miracle that I was led to Alma Center, Wisconsin, where I learned about cow comfort from Blake Heller and was blessed with encouraging Cody, Elaine, Shannon, and even Shane before he found beer. <laughs> it was an absolute miracle that eight months ago, I was told to check into the Shans Medical Center, get on the liver transplant list. By God's unmerited favor, he led me to a simple solution that dramatically changed my life. And at the age of 55, by God's amazing grace, I'm lighter, stronger, and leaner than I was in my barefoot prime. In closing, I just want to say that if there's anyone within the sound of my voice who feels like they need a miracle, I encourage you to reach out to me because I will tell you the truth. I will tell you why you can wake up every day for the rest of your life and expect a miracle. The truth is, the God who breathed the stars into existence and knows the number of the hairs on your head determined that you are worth heaven's best. Your worth is determined by God's valuation of Jesus because that is who he gave up to make sure that you could experience a life so filled with joy that you will overflow with a story that others are waiting to hear. You are blessed to be a blessing. God bless you guys. Thank you. Yeah!